I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubt. <laughs> Okay, so um, after what, 15 years in the flat, yeah. we're slowly starting to pack up everything, throwing away oh. all the stuff we have, getting ready for a big adventure. Yeah. So what are you thinking, Annie? Well, today is the, the start of the big pack. Um, Beginning of March, we've got three months and... 20 days left before we're hitting the road heading north. Oh, and maybe we don't have so much shit. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't have so much. Um, it's a bit of a emotional time yeah. to start getting rid of stuff and um, saying yeah. goodbye to unnecessary stuff. Mm. But also uplifting. Because we don't need all the shit. Yeah. We stuff. We don't need all this stuff. Yeah, we, we're minimizing yeah. um, as we're slowly getting ready. Mm. So it's tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> so that video was about two months ago and we have been packing like demons. Mm -hmm. It's now about a month and a bit to go. And it has been t a time of thinking back about where Fearless of Four Wheels have been and where the idea is coming from. Yeah, so it was actually quite a Harder. reflection of what we did and I think our first, when we got married we decided that we were going to go to Mozambique because it was my destination I chose and um, there we kind of saw that we could travel together. Yeah, and it was quite a interesting time for us as very inexperienced um, yeah. campers. Yeah, we um, fortunately I packed in uh, one book and one torch and we didn't realize that the sun would set very early every evening in, in Mozambique and we kind of fought over the one book and the torch and had the agreement that I would have the first hour because I would fall easily asleep and then he read the rest of the book and we decided to go to... Oh, to... to South. What? No, we decided to go to Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique um, We went about halfway up through Mozambique I loved by and she, she loved Byra because she could shop and buy and um, swish the with. Musical mark, musical market. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. We, um, and, um, and then we started picking, uh, taking turns in picking a destination. But, but that book we read was when we decided that we were going uh, yes, to South America. Yes, yes, yes. That was our yeah. first big overseas trip and my first trip over the ocean yes. in the airplane. So that was Peru, Bolivia and a little bit of Argentina. Um, great, so how people can transform the world, the physical world around them to, to um, move water where they need it in a very dry and arid place. The aqueducts. The aqueducts, yes. yes. And then the, the highlights were Machu Picchu and the Nazca lines and the... The trek that you did. Yes, I, I walked. Cusco. Um, Cusco and then the Salar, the salt Yes, yes the Salar and mm. the um, Atacama Desert mm. and I got my first tattoo there. Mm -hmm. Yes, interesting mm -hmm. times. Yes, we also met nice people there. Yes. And we decided on the impulse of the moment to go to the Pampas, you remember? Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yes. from... from the uh, Yeah, the Rorabiku we had like, the, wasn't it the world's second most dangerous road. Oh yes, yes, we did the most sec well, second most or dangerous. Or the most dangerous road. in our opinion, yes. but yeah, from um, La Paz to Rurebico. Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah. Um, and then we had quite a few trips, one after the other. Mm. We did our first um, Southern African trip um, through Namibia, mm. uh, Vic Falls and Botswana. Namibia we'll, is we'll beautiful. We'll show you um, a little bit of South mm. America mm. up here and Namibia up here mm -hmm. um, so you can see a little bit in those days we weren't doing video it was all pictures yeah and also we didn't have a 4x4 yes so that we did in a, a Renault Kangoo a little yeah. delivery driven bit. to places it's never been before yeah. Yeah. no no flat tires except one no no we had a lot Namibia. of flat tires in Namibia we had one no we had a lot of flat tires 
because we had to change tyres a lot. Um, okay, we, we can't always Anyhow. remember. Yeah. 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 And after that, we did a diving course in Cape Town and we flew to Zanzibar. Yes. And the cheap airline one time left my wheelchair in Johannesburg and I had to pickle around for three days on a very rickety um, airport chair and yeah. I broke the thing in pieces. Because of the cobblestones obviously, because mm. in stone town everything is still made of stone. So, yes, yeah, yeah. of course. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, no wonder one time we bust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we hunted a clips in Japan, flew to Osaka and a small island of Mami Yoshimu. I had a great time in, in Japan, yeah. but expensive for us, so we didn't stay long. That, this, is, this was the country that was the most challenging to me, but also where I found out how lovely sushi Some is. Some pictures of Japan will be up there. Yes. yes. And then Thailand, ne? after Japan. Yes, that's yes. right. Then Thailand, we spent a month in Thailand. I love Thailand. We did all the tourist things. I shopped for t-shirts. Shopped. Like, lots of Clothes, jewelry, jewelry. got a tattoo, went to the the, the, the um, full moon party. Mm -hmm. Every once a week there's a full moon party. It's a very nice diving, very yeah. crowded diving mm -hmm. on a small island, a turtle island. Yes. Um, Can't remember Kotao. the name. Oh, Kotao, yes. yes. And he got a turtle tattoo. Yes, yes. yes. Also pictures about yeah. Then we did another diving course so that we could have the advanced mm. open water diving course and we were off to Australia to dive the barrier Lovely. reef. Some diving pictures yeah. up here. Wow, um, what a privilege to actually drive to, to dive there yes. and it was the first time that we could dive by ourselves which really helped us because um, a lot of people are scared of him being disabled and how he's diving but we get along just fine. Yeah. We, got, we got lost in yeah. the dark. Yeah, in he dark, was no. the navigator yeah. but yeah that yeah. was just once and yeah. the next evening we got it right. Next. Yes um, yeah, and it, gave, it gave us confidence as um, just diving. Um, and a diving couple because then we knew that yeah. we can tell people this is how we do it. Yes um, that helped a lot and then in 2011 we did a six week holiday through Botswana, Zambia and Malawi and that was with a VW Caddy, uh, again some pictures somewhere up here and that's when the idea of a longer trip um, um, was born because yeah. we were very sad to turn around, yes, we hated especially. turning around yeah. and then we started talking mm -hmm. um, we had a brilliant time all through the trip, mm -hmm. South Luanga um, just traveling through um, Botswana yeah, Malawi. Even Malawi. though we kind of nearly lost the radiator, yes, what else yes. happened? Just the, just the radiator. The radiator yeah. that yeah. we fixed with three cable ties, always pack those in. And, um, and that was maybe a signal to get a 4x4. Four four. Yeah. <laughs> and that the VW Caddy could handle it, but we yeah. will not maybe handle it for that long. Mm -hmm. And then we started getting our act together for a longer trip. Yes. And in preparation for that. Yes, we got all our finances sorted out so that we have very little debt mm. and we got Ufuru, our um, trusty Toyota Hilux and we started getting it out. Um, getting it sorted so I can drive it, place for the wheelchair and all the luxuries. Yes. What do we need and what don't we need? Because when we bought it, there was a microwave in it and uh, a hair dryer which we chucked out so, so it's all about what you need yes. and then the rest of our trips we basically and what you need you need a, a bed for Corinne and enough red wine so now we've yeah. got a bed yeah. a very nice comfy bed um, up top no water but a lot of red yeah. wine yes. yes and then the rest of our trips we basically plan to use the car we didn't go overseas well no much. we did we did uh, we did Hungary and Egypt oh that's right okay after after um, um, With the exception Malawi. of Hungary and Egypt. Yes. <laughs> we, we had great diving um, yes, in, yeah, in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice diving, did a wreck dive. Mm -hmm. But yes, and then it was trips around Southern Africa. We visited Khalekhadi Transfrontier Park in Botswana and we traveled through South Africa. I will link below to some of our previous adventures. We did a trip to 
um, Adu National Park and, a and few they, short on that one we, we visit all the gravel roads which yes, is very yes, important for us yes. and Karina had to learn to drive 4x4 <laughs> if you want to watch our uh, I think you must learn how to sew. Then yes. I'll I'll yes, do what for properly. Yes, yes, you would. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can do it, I can then... do buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the machine. No, no, no. In in, in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, what was that? That very oh, Kahakama. Watch our Kahakama movie to see how Karin learns how to conquer fear. Because there's only one thing to fear, and it's fear itself. So. Um, just one word of thanks to all our Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. You all know who you are. Um, you are assisting us in making um, this, these adventures possible. Um, we hope to work hard on improving our videos yeah. and so that you can join us on more adventures. So watch this space. We'll be doing a few more um, of these vlogs as we get ready and as we start emptying our flat and getting on the road. day is upon us. Yes. Tick tock, tick tock. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, support us on Patreon and like our videos.